What's your thoughts on the creation of a pyramid structure in Scottish football, which grants the non-league teams the opportunity for promotion? Well, I think as long as the criteria is fulfilled and done properly, um, and there's an infrastructure within the clubs, uh, I don't think see there's any problem with a pyramid structure. Uh, logistically, obviously, if someone from the Highland League uh, ones and, and someone from the you know uh, the, the west or the south uh, loses a position, it's going to be quite difficult, I think, to Im implement it properly. But um, I, I, it's not a surprise, it, it was always going to be coming, it was just when, and uh, I think uh, a lot of clubs are now going to be happy about it. Um, gives them an opportunity to get into the Football League. How important do you think it is for a town the size of Eastcobe to have a professional team? Well, I think it'd be a terrific, uh, you know, for for uh, some somewhere like East Kilbride. I mean, there's a huge community here. Um, I think it's uh, one of the probably the, the, the single biggest uh, community that doesn't have um, a professional football side. So I think it'd be great uh, for the community, um, a great interest. I think it would, um, you know, uh, send a real positive message, and I think it, it put East Kilbride uh, on the map nationally. What's your thoughts on the facilities here at Cape Park? Yeah, the facilities are, are, are terrific, not not just for, for us as a professional club, but also for the community. I mean, every night of the week, um, there's top-class facilities on their doorstep. Um, it gets um, young uh, boys and girls involved in football, uh, keeping health, keeping fitness, um, uh, you know, making new friends. All of those things, I think, are terrific. Finally, who is the best player you've seen come from East Kilbride? Well, come from East Kilbride? Uh, you mean other than Alan McCoyst? No, I think uh, Alan McCoyst, I think, is always going to be up there. I mean, I played against him many times, uh, and he scored many times, I can assure you. Um, but he played with a smile on his face, and I think that's really important. Um, he doesn't have so many smiles on his face as a manager, much more difficult, much more stressful. But uh, without a doubt, I think, uh, for me anyway, it would be Alistair McCoyst.